Good morning and welcome to Sai Kong Town. Uh, I'm just walking down to near to Shaha Beach, which is just around five to ten minutes walk from uh, Sai Kong Town itself. I'm sorry, everything's a little bit wonky because my ears are a little bit wonky. Hopefully the videos won't follow suit. Kong town is just over here you can see the, the central piers there and today I'm gonna be taking a trip out to the little island that's just there and um, we'll just take maybe 10 minutes to swim there but you can rent a kayak or a paddleboard and, and get out there in a more fun kind of way um, the island is called Yung Chao uh, Chao I guess is Cantonese for island as it's gear that I'll be using today includes a GoPro Hero 8 hoping to capture some nice underwater images. Some Sabia snorkeling fins, which I purchased from Decathlon uh, for under $100. I'm interested to see how these fare. I've gone for these instead of my long scuba diving fins. I then have a snorkeling mask and a snorkel by Misuka, which I know nothing about. I found this on a beach in Japan. Uh, the beach was totally empty. And it was left there. And then I have also a float or a buoy, uh, which again was from Decathlon for $189, Hong Kong dollars. And this will mean that the boats can see me whilst I'm under the water. And also it acts as a float should I have any trouble. So it's, it's a good thing to have as a safety device out if you're snorkeling by yourself or indeed with friends. And then heading out to Young Chow. So let's get in the water. Okay, so the buoy is afloat, uh, mask is on, snorkel's ready to go in, and let's see what's under the water. Are you ready? Let's go. Probably not a lot is there, uh, and it's a bit cold, so maybe next time. Approaching the young child now behind, and uh, yeah, the water's quite spacious. Give me my eyes a little bit. So I'm approaching young child now, and the first sign of wildlife is there. We have a wild dog of some kind just on the, on the floor there. I'm going to have a look at me, thinking, what's this guy doing? Why has he not got a kayak? So let's go say hello. Okay, so this is what I've considered to be the main beach on Yang Chao. And I'm going to start the snorkeling, the proper snorkeling, going around the island in a clockwise direction from the end of this beach. Uh, you can see it gets a little bit rocky, uh, but the water's still quite shallow around here, so maybe I'll find some coal. If not, at least I hope to find some, some decent fish. Let's see what we can find. So I've just come around the first corner, and yeah, not much to see. Just uh, a little bit rocky and a few small fish. Uh, but you come to what is like the, the second beach on Yong Chao, uh, just a little beach over here.
also found probably the third little beach, just a tiny little beach on Yun Chao. And around this beach, just on the water, out here there is some coal. Visibility is not good, and not many fish, but uh, some coral nonetheless. I'm feel that snorkeling is really kind of relaxing still. You know, there's no time to get your feet up and just kick back and relax. You've got to work the whole time. This is probably the, the best stretch of the island so far for snorkeling. Um, just around the, the corner at about, I don't know, 7 o'clock I guess, if you're judging it from the start point. Um, so the long island, the sand bar in the background. Water's clear, not much coral here, but some nice rocks and some very colourful and happy fun fish. So, uh, yeah, this spot here, whatever it's called, whatever it is, here. Uh, under the water is that nice. Recommend. I'm back now to uh, the other the other side of the island, uh, ready to head back to Taitong Town, Taitong Promenade there. Um, and yeah, I can say the best thing was at the, the back part of the island towards Shark Island. There was some coral, there was some better clarity of water, some more interesting sea species. So uh, worth a trip around, it's nice, you can do it within an uh, hour, an hour and a half. Um, and I've done that fairly leisurely. So yeah, come out and explore. Check it out. So bye bye to Yongchao Island.